I've told you everything I know. But there's not much more to tell you. But there's just a scripture here in the book of Revelation, chapter 5, where John was looking into the heavens and he was very, very sad because no one was worthy on the earth. No one was worthy to open the book of life, the book of the life of the Lamb in people. No one. There was none of us that really understood what the Lamb was in us or what Christ is in us. Nobody really understood. And John said, I'm standing there weeping because no one could seem to open the book for us. No one understood what we really were until one came to him and said, it's okay. It's okay. He said, Behold the Lion of the tribe of Judah, the Root of David, has prevailed to open the book. I want to tell you everything that has been said in the last two days here is simply what Jesus Christ revealed to us when He was on this earth. What He revealed to us was the reality of who we are. He came and broke the seals that were upon the book of our life. Which means that he simply opened God's book and said, this is who you are. How did Jesus Christ do it? He simply came into this world Born of a woman, the same as you and I had been, except she was a virgin, but she was still born of a woman, and said, listen, folk, this is who you are. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. This is who you are. This is Jesus Christ pulling the seals off your book. And if you will read about his life on this earth, you will be reading about your own life. For he said, the things that I do, you can do also. And greater things. Because I go to my Father. Why? Because when Jesus Christ came to this earth, he stood there and said, this is who you are. This is who you are. There is no difference between Jesus Christ that walked on this earth and you people here today. There is no difference. This is the sum total of what I've been trying to share with you over these days. And I'm saying to you today, stop referring to your natural mind to discover who you are. Stop referring to the theologians and the things that you've heard pastors say. But say in your heart today, Father, you speak to me. You tell me who I am. You show me what I can do. And then I will do it. And then the release will come to you. And you will begin to function as Christ did on this earth. And beloved, that's really the Christian life. It's nothing more and nothing less than that. That what Jesus Christ was on this earth, that is what you are today on this earth. So my prayer for you is this. What you have heard, hide it in your heart. 
There will be many things that you have heard these last two days that you will not understand with this mind. You might try, but it just doesn't come up with the answers for you. So hide it in your heart. And in your quiet times, tonight, before you go to sleep, when you're lying down, everything's quiet. Say, Father, you teach me what I need to know. And if you've got a specific question that I might have mentioned or, or my brothers here might have mentioned, say, Father, tell me about this, will you? You help me to understand. And He will. He will. My revelation simply comes as I open my heart to the Father and He fills it. The joy of the Lord is my strength. May the Lord bless you. And take the word of the Lord which is alive and powerful and sharper than a two-edged sword. Able to divide between the soul and the spirit, which is what you need to be able to do to discern between what is your soul and your spirit. And that's what the Word of God will do. The Word of God is not a book. Yes. The Word of God is a person. Yes. Jesus Christ. For in the beginning was the Word. Yes. May God bless you.